Alright y'all, so I'm here to take a 15 minute break here and speak on something that needs to be spoken about. And that is what you trolls do to people. And how it leads up to like what happened with me. What you guys do is wrong. You sit there and you pick on people weaker than yourself. You sit there and you fucking target people that look weak or different. And what do you what do you proceed to do? Every time you guys proceed to befriend them and exploit them after befriending them. All for views and money and clicks. Also, you can make a profit. And that's not right. You know, everybody wonders why so many people kill themselves over cyberbullying. This shit right here is what drives that suicide. That kind of shit right there, that behavior that you trolls do, that's what pushes people to kill themselves and commit acts of crime. That's what does it. I mean, you guys sit there and you attack people and you harass them like you're some sort of vigilantes. On a mission for God when you're not. You're not on a godly mission. And then you run around and you make up all these rumors. All these lies. All this fucking bullshit. Just for clicks and views. Also you guys can make a fast buck and get paid. And that's fucking sickening. Just like you guys did with me. You know, I warned you guys several times to leave me the hell alone. But you didn't do it. You guys took it from the internet to real life. You guys attempted to assassinate me. By shooting at me. Attempted to assault me, to belittle and berate me, and make me look weak. Then you had one of your little fucking trolls pretend to be a vigilante and had him come here after, you know, threatening my mom and myself and putting our lives in immediate danger. And you had him um, using a weapon with fighting words on that weapon starting and inciting a riot. All for what? Clicks and views. And I'm going to say this right here and right now. All of you fucking trolls on the internet. All you fucking little wannabe heroes. All you fucking vigilantes. That think you know shit. You don't know jack shit. You don't know up from down. You don't know left from right. You don't know your asshole from a hole in the ground. But yet. You guys are super quick. To attack somebody. When they're down. But yet when that person fights back. You get mad. You guys sit there and you antagonize somebody and you kick them down and strip everything away from them. You strip their dignity, their humanity, and everything you can away from them. And then what do you do? You get mad when they fight back. You get mad when they fire back at you. Where is that right? Like who the fuck died? Who the fuck died and made you God? Nobody. 
Like you guys sit here and you set people up and you do all this shit to make them look like the bad guy. Just like Marty did with me with Mass Troll Mafia. He set me up to be a to make me look like a pedophile because he's sickly obsessed with me. He has a mental illness in his fucking head. And I'm not blaming him for that. But he needs mental health and bad. And yet, you guys get enjoyment out of innocent people being made to look like bad guys. So I'm going to ask you dumbass trolls, you vigilante motherfuckers, the same thing I asked all my fans and all you trolls that can't order my channel, I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked everybody else last night. How many people have to take their lives before you guys fucking stop and you say enough is enough? How many people have to die? How many people have to suffer? How many people have to lose their lives and lose everything before you fucking stop? No one deserves what you guys are doing. No one. Not me, not anyone. No one deserves that. Period. No one fucking deserves that. Okay? Chris Chan didn't deserve what you guys did to him. Suplex City Vlogs didn't deserve what you did to him. Tony the Black Dragon Lord, he somewhat deserved what you guys did. But even there to an extent, y'all didn't need to fucking dehumanize him like you did on live stream and made him do the shit that he did. Oh, let's not forget about Heather Colonna, the one that you guys fucking scared the shit out of. For no reason. No one deserves what you guys do to people. You guys walk around here and act like fucking wannabe gangsters. But really you're just a bunch of piss poor, sad, lonely fucking old men. That are mad at their lives. That have no goals. That have no dreams. That don't do anything. that want to fucking point and blame other people for your doings. You know, it's funny. You sit there and you attack somebody. You antagonize them. You harass them. You bully them. So fucking much. And then when they fucking snap, you point the finger and are like, Oh, he's the bad guy. He did this. He did that. No, motherfucker. You guys did something. You guys bullied that person to the point of fucking doing something. And it's funny. Y'all sit there and tell people like me to take accountability. Wow, you fucking ignorant little fucks. You stupid ass fucking morons. You dumb ass vigilante motherfuckers. Why don't you guys take responsibility for your actions? I mean, it's pretty funny how you victimize people and then you turn around and paint them out to be the villain when really they're the victim and you're the villain. Also, you can cover your own fucking ass. And that's sad. You dumbass trolls are nothing more than wannabe vigilantes inciting riots, doing harm to people, harassing people. All for what? A laugh? A view? A quick buck? What you guys are doing needs to stop before someone gets seriously hurt or killed. You guys almost killed me twice. You guys tried to kill me twice in a row. When are you guys going to stop? When someone does actually get killed? When someone does actually get hurt and end up in the hospital seriously injured? 
Hell, because of you guys, a couple years ago, I got stressed out so much that I almost died from the stress, and I did end up in the hospital. But how long is it going to be before someone takes their life from you bullying them? And then guess what? When that person does, their blood is going to be on your fucking hands. You guys need to stop this fucking bullshit. It's gone too far and it needs to stop. Before someone gets seriously hurt or ends up dead because of you. So cut the bullshit and stop fucking bullying people. It's not okay. It's not cool. It doesn't make you hard. It doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you a badass. It makes you a fucking pathetic ass piece of shit fucking moron. With no morals. So wanna be vigilante hard asses. Cut the bullshit. Now. Before someone gets hurt. Or worse. Think about what you do before you do it. Because one day you guys are going to push somebody so far. That they will take their lives. And guess what? Their blood is going to be on your hands. 